Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We're doing another stipulation draft. Hopefully we'll do a little bit of this time. This is from Corey Saucier. Uh, this one was in response to my, uh, my, my salty rant the other day, the one I made at the beginning of the video where I was talking about how I noticed I was getting a little saltier during these losses and during these, these losing streaks. And uh, he said, salty stip, draft cards that deflect the salt to your opponent. Uh, aim for one of the following. Mana Tithe, Remand for Tempo, Wasteland, Lock, Ajani, Exile or Steal Everything with Ashiok, Shanoobs. Uh, do what it takes to give them Hyper Natremia. And remember, we will continue to support you during these difficult times. And uh, that's pretty sweet. So I want to take Mox Ruby because obviously power is, uh, is pretty good. Dude, the guy's argument for playing early and like me being late is like, there's no disadvantage when you join late. It's like you don't have to re. It's like you don't have to rebuy, and you're later in the game. And I'm like, that's not no, how you that have works. To play against bigger stacks, and the blinds go up. It's a huge disadvantage. Wow, that dude has no idea what he's talking about. That's hilarious. Um, huh. All right, deflecting the salt of the opponent here. Embrazen Borrower, maybe Ar Arcane Artisan seems like it could be like the most problematic card, like when you put like a Blight Steal or something into play. Phil Helmy though always shows up late. It's all right. I mean, if you're a god, you can show up late. Also had a big tournament. Which, so I mean, to be fair, I would definitely consider Phil Helmy the god status in terms of poker. Right. Also, if if you're playing in a very big tournament, usually the starting the blinds actually go up way slower. I'll take artisan here. And you have bigger stacks, so it's it's not as bad. But we're we're playing pretty quick blinds, so. Yeah, if you have Arcane Artisan plus like Ulamog, like any of the big creatures in your hand, like it's real good. Um, because not only do you get to draw a card, but you still get the big one. Are you tough enough for the salty stapoon? I'm tough enough. Katie, I love you. You are wonderful. Oh, Consecrated Sphinx. I, I feel like Consecrated Sphinx is a, a supremely salty card, and whenever my opponent plays it, I just feel like I've lost immediately. Uh, Michael B. is playing with real money. He's also up like 300 bucks in the past week. Roughly. Uh, over the, 40, 140, 240, 340. I'm actually, my sense. winnings are about $440. My profit is about 280, I think. Something like that. There were some times when I bought him more than once, so. Still pretty good, though. I think that's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Got him. That's a strict. That'd be strict, yo. Well, Michael, you know what? <laughs> Suck on them eggs. That's what my dad always used to tell me. Well, technically, we're he would get his eggs out and put them in my mouth, and he'd be like, "Suck on these eggs, son," and I would be like, "Thank you, Dad." And with my mouth full of hard-boiled eggs, I'm trying to answer his question. It was a different time over. then, Michael. It was a different time. What's the saltiest card? In the you got to help me with these fucking salty picks, man. Salty picks. I'm drafting by myself over here. Uh, let's take Inclovine and hope to get Tanker. Tanker. <laughs> oh, wait, we want to get some Tanker. Also, just to answer really quickly, we're playing on a free-to-play app. However, we pay all PayPal one guy who handles the finances, and then the winners at the end get PayPal from him. So we are playing for real money. I think Inkwell is pretty salty. And we also have Arcane. <gasps> if you Arcane Art is an Inkwell, it has Shroud. That's pretty good. Oh, wait, but wait. Like no downside, Hold on. Right? No, no, no. Because this isn't like, it's not like Makeshift Mannequin. Like, <sighs> yeah, you'd still have to exile it. But it's still pretty good to exile with. It's got Shroud, yeah. It's still the same creature, right? There's no downside. Storm does make everyone salty, but I feel like that's a little too on. Like, it's just, it, it's. Show and tell's interesting. Doesn't make people salty. Kiki Jiki is pretty good. Yeah, let's take Kiki Jiki. Getting comboed out makes everyone salty, I think. Plow under is a salty card. Young Pyromancer. Yeah, but do we want to be green? I think we're jacing here. Are we jacing here? No, I don't think we want to be green. I don't think there's a lot of salty cards in green. Um, I kind of like Jace here. Thousand Year Storm. We're not a Thousand Year Storm deck. No, we'd have to really commit to it, and we don't have a lot of early Storm pick cards yet. Storm pick. I think we, if you want to go Storm, you have to open, like, power at least. Like, you want fast mana. I don't think you can do it. Oh, fast mana. How come you're dying so and Acidic good, Slime man. really get it? Yeah, but those are, like, the only two cards. There's not that much land destruction in cube. Isn't there, though? Outside of, like, Armageddon's, which is a different color. <sighs> Winter or Salty AF. I don't think it's going to be good for us, though. It's still salty. Burning of Zinni could be good. Yeah, I think that's better, and it's also just as salty. Yeah, let's take Burning. You can also build around that much easier. Yeah, I like that. No. 
None of these are really that salt inducing, so I'll just take the pyromancer, I guess. Hey man, Facebook is like, you want to tag Michael B in this photo? <laughs> That's an old one, right? That's from 2018. I don't even remember that. Oh, this is in the living room of of Florida House. Florida House. Goblin Dark Rollers could be pretty good. Um, is Emrakul salty? Kind of. You take their turn. And hey, we have Arcane Artisan. Yeah, I'll I just like take it. it as a 13-13. Sure. That's a salt inducer. Oh, Bonfire. Let's take the Bonfire. I actually think that's probably... If decent. you get lucky, it's pretty salty. They're like, wow, you hit a bonfire. Yeah, that's, I agree. I agree with that completely. I think port is fine, but I, I don't want to play port in like a triple blue, double, or triple, triple red, double blue, double red, double blue kind of deck. Oh, Magus of the Moon. Oh, that's Magus of the Moon is salty AF, dude. Miracle is a super salty. Alan, what's going on, buddy? I didn't, I didn't even know you were here, my dude. I'll take empty. Oh, wow. Throw black cards. Okay. I'll just take Mastermind of Acquisition. Hey man, never too late to go Thousand Year Storm. Jackal Pup. I didn't even know we had a mox. Yeah, that's because you weren't even. Soaring. That's that's salty. Oh, and what if the sneak attack wheels? It's not, but I'll, I'm, I mean, I'm not not taking the the soaring, my dude. Soaring's basically land, right? No, I don't think so. I think you're too greedy to consider a land. I would. I would. <laughs> Ah, uh, through the breach and steam vents, both very, very good for us. I think we gotta take. The steam I think vents. we gotta take steam vents. I, I think the mana requirements for the red blue deck are very, very high. Yeah, we have triple gr red grid, triple grid. I love a good triple grid. Soaring is a color slant. Well, it, it kind of is, but at the same time, it does cost one mana, so. If your opener doesn't have a land, if it just has a slow ring, you can't really keep it. I like keeping one landers is pretty not great anyway, so. Would you tinker away your slow ring? I mean, if it's good enough. I think if we did get a tinker and our opponent's playing islands and we can do turn one or turn two tinker, it's probably worth it. What's he saying? I don't even listen. You're talking about Hunter? It's messed up, man. That's your dog. Mana leaks. Decent. Yeah, mana leaks pretty tilting, too. Like Counter spells in general make people tilt. I think Hunter's probably got to go out. Probably right. Oh, Oko's very salt inducing. We have no way to cast yeah, it right to... now. We have no green fixing right now. I'm gonna now. take the mana leak. I think mana leak's pretty salty. Oh, is it? Is it? Is it? Signet's great. Yeah, that's a great pickup. Wasteland's very salty, but no, let that do that. Would you mind? It's a little rough on my ankle, but oh, that's right. No, no, no. Then after, I'll, I'll let him out after this draft portion. Yeah, we can do a quick pause. I just want to avoid having to go up and down stairs. No, much that's possible. fine. Yeah, I understand. Oh, Dak Faden is great. That is pretty salty. We also have Zealous Conscripts, but I think Dak is probably well, better. Conscripts wins us the game with Kiki. Well, it's very rare that happens. I think Dak Faden's stealing like their Signet or their like. There's so many artifacts. Okay, sure. Like I just think Dak is super. Like if they play, if they go like Mox or Soaring, yeah. you just steal it. Like yeah, it's so much better than in the Vintage. Cube. We can do AMA with Mikey. Yeah, we'll do an AMA again. Hunter, hold on. Gah. Oh, you know he ain't gonna stop. Muldrifter's good. A braid is good. Is there any salt cards here? Primeval Titan's very, very good. Um, is it just Muldrifter? It's not a salty, really. But I don't think Expansion Explosion no, it's is too either. Fair. It's not salty. Salty. So it's not, not salty. salty. Uh, Inferno Titan is great. Oh, Mystic Confluence. Mystic Confluence is extremely good, and like countering their spells is again pretty. That's a close pick, though. I agree. I think Inferno Titan's very, very good. Mr. Conlon's definitely tilts people. When you, when you counter their spell for one and draw two cards, like, I've had people concede to that. <laughs> or if you bounce three things, it's like a huge tempo swing. Like, yeah. It just does it all. Like, it's real good. It's good. Definitely good. It ranges from good to insane. Spell Pierce is tilting. Yes. And I also think it's good in this format. I want to take Spell Pierce. 
I'm gonna put burning in the sideboard. I don't think we're a burning deck yet with only one signet. Yeah, we need fast mana for it to be good. Also, you need like artifact mana as well. And we only have like two pieces. I only got two pieces. So we may not end up playing Emrakul because, well, I guess you can cast it reasonably depending on your yard. I don't know if that's realistic though. I'm not sure. Yeah, I hope we get a Tinker. That'd be really great. We only have Inkle Leviathan yet. It's usually good enough though. Yeah, P and Karenalar is fine. None of these cards are salty. None of these cards are tilt inducing. But P and Karenalar is good, so. Soul Ring, Signet, and Ruby might be burning. Yeah, that might be enough. That's probably enough. I don't know. I guess we do have Ruby. Oh, uh, is Emery good? I don't think we're an Emery deck yet. Mm, no, I don't think Hell so. Hellride is actually pretty salt inducing I if mean, we have the also creatures for it. Pretty good threat. Yeah, I'll just take a Hellrider. Oko came back. I think we take. But that's insane. Yeah, that's really I think we should try to find a way to splash this because Oko is insanely assault inducing. So is Shrine of Burning Rage. I don't know if we'll play it, but it's very, very good. Hellkite okay, just wins games. Yeah, Hellkite's good. Expansion Explosion came back. Okay. So we're living that dream. Our deck is looking pretty sweet right now. I like it so far. I don't think we're playing Emrakul yet, but. That's insane, yeah. This is like the saltiest card that's, that's ever printed. And I'm oh, really glad it came back so, so that we can, like. Time Twister. Also, I'm Tropical gonna Island. Chats. <laughs> I'm going to die. I'm slowing down. I'm sick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, we opened Trop? Man, nice. Yeah, I like Trop. I also kind of like Upheaval. Upheaval is the better Zin Burning Zinyu. I think we're taking Trop, and I... I, I I actually have a feeling that upheaval may come back. We'll see. People fear it. People what? Fear it. People you fear it. Mox Diamond's pretty good. Hey, people you fear it, man. Mox oh, Diamond. Oh wait, we just take Lumbering Falls, right? If we want to cast the Oko. I was thinking that too. Yeah. As much as but Mox Diamond also does the same thing, though, right? Yes, and also Lumbering Falls might come back. Yeah, I think we take the Mox. It's it's good enough. Fast mana is pretty good. Sunning Titan is pretty good, but we're gonna have like a lot of mixed manas if we're playing Oko. I'm gonna take Mox Diamond. I think Mox Diamond's good enough to. Hey man, hmm. Salt. Oh, it's got Salt in the name. I think it's Polluted Delta because it gets Tropical Island and Steam Vents here, so it's just good for our for Seems our plan. Pretty insane. Also, we don't have a wasteland to go with the Crucible, so it's not really salty. No, that's just that's just boring. Mox helps you make this burning deck too. Yeah. So maybe we play it. It's definitely possible. A Johnny? Oh, we don't have any white. Dang it. No. Dang it. Not really a salty cards here. No, not really. And Treasure Cruise is good. Eh. It's okay. We might play it. I think it's the only card we're thinking of playing. Or maybe just... Revoker's kind of boring. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it's boring, but I think it's good. It's been Treasure Cruise. Yeah, we don't have a lot of cards going to the graveyard. And we do have one fetch land, but I don't think that's enough. It's not. I just don't think we're ever going to cast right, it for a reasonable Revoker. amount. Frag, oh man, Fracture Identity is, is, is real salty. Mm, it's too greedy though. Is it? How are we going to play that? I don't know. It's a, it's we a have to get real lucky in the, in the Scalding Tower to have the wheel for you so you can consider playing it. Sacred Foundry can come back. No. You don't think? No. Nope. You can, I, I think I'd rather just play like Chain Lightning or Goblin Ch Robin Master. Chain Lightning is so boring though. So yeah, is it's Robin just Master. good. Like, just efficient. We got Mox Diamond. I make a mana so bad to play white. I know you're right. Oh God, Rob. I like Rob Master. All right, fine. God, I don't like it. Bloodbraid Elf. Bloodbraid Elf's good. It's decent. Yeah, I like it. The only thing I'd be afraid of hitting here is Mox or uh, Mana Leak, rather. Yeah, but that's only one. Yeah, I think I think, think Bloodbraid's fine. That's a classic salt inducer. Oh, Exarch. We have Kiki. That's a win con. Botanical Sanctum. I'll take it. Yeah, that's good. Now we probably don't have to play... Maybe Stomping one. Ground oh, is wow. great. Okay, now we don't have to play any Forest, I don't think. Maybe one. Well, no, we're going to get the Lumbering Falls back, so... In that case, I wouldn't play any Forest. 
because we have one, two, three, four. That'd be five sources of uh, six with the mox. So, can we get lucky and hit a volcanic? I don't think so, right? I don't think there's any packs left for it now. Volcanic Falls. would be the nutter. Upheaval did not come back as well, so Mizzium Mortar seems fine. We don't have that much removal, so we can take a Mizzium Mortars. I consider playing it, man. Whatever, Goblin God, sure. We can board in against a slow. Oh, the chain oh, nice. came back. That's pretty good. None of these are. Don't think we're playing Emrakul, right? Um, I mean, we have Arcane Arzen. Is that enough, though? I mean, we also have Jace. Like, it's easy to discard. We have Dac. Like, we have a lot of okay, looting yeah, effects. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Plus, like, we can get a bunch also, of types in the makes graveyard. It more castable, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, you all convinced right. me. All right. Let's do our mana. This is a lot of green fixing, which is super nice. Oh, actually, we need cuts, don't we? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We need a lot of cuts. I don't think we're a burning deck. I don't think we care about expansion explosion. I think we want to keep bonfire for yeah. the memes. Arguments over having lower minimum wage are just insane to me. I'll take out Magus. We can board Magus in. You mean higher minimum wage? Yes. Jackal Pup, you're not a player. Gaw, Colin God, you're not a player. Okay, now. Hey, Mike, tell Frank to accept my Facebook friend request. Happy birthday, Mike B. MTG Pyro. I don't know who that is. I don't know. Yeah, you got to give me your real name if you want. Yeah, to I don't know how to. Text me your real name and I'll. Uh... Dude, MTG Pyro currently. Michael, how many friend requests do I have right here? Frank has 952 friend requests in the queue. So you might want to. So I have, I'm literally going to have no idea. Like. Oh, here we go. Who you might be. Okay, I will find you. I gave him your real name. I don't know if you want that out there. No, machine, that's not so that's not necessary. I'm not going to say it out loud, but I did give him your name, so he should be able to add you. Is it? All right. Uh, okay, okay. I got you. All right. Should be adding you right now. Respond. Done. Confirmed. Yeah, if you guys reach out to me and, and you're fans of the content and, like, you want me to you know accept your friend request like I'm, I'm usually more than happy to do it um but if you just friend requesting randomly and i don't you don't say anything and i have no idea who you are then like i'm not gonna accept anymore because i just get too many shitty people on facebook Thanks. who have like contrary opinions and beliefs to my own and they expect me not to voice my opinions on my personal facebook page not my public page where i post my content but on my personal facebook page where i interact with friends and family um they get mad at me for expressing my opinions there. And um, weird. so those people can fuck themselves. And uh, I don't, that's why I kind of stopped requesting, uh, accepting friend requests randomly because I get nothing out of it. And then the people who follow, who choose to follow me um, are, are the ones that give me a hard time for the things that I post. So that's my story. Yeah, it's just obnoxious where I'm like, I'll post my political opinion or my oh, hey. beliefs on my Facebook page. Our foot doctor wants to, you to accept his friend request. Oh, sure. Done. Uh, I won't give out your real name on stream, but Mr. Foot Doctor, um, he's going to add you, so I don't, don't see one. It. He doesn't see a friend request from me. You might need to resend it. And I can't respond to you via text because my texts aren't sending right now, so. Oh, D. Lee Coker, if you actually send me one, I'll definitely I'll definitely accept it. Oh, yeah, you did. <laughs> okay. There you go. You there you it. go. Boom. Done. This is the this is the Frank friendship uh, hour. Now I feel like I'm being used. Oh hey, yeah, can, they're, can they're literally using you to get to me. <laughs> <laughs> Which is fine. I don't really matter. But Frank, you should be professional, not political, on your also, personal you page. Yeah, that's that's yeah. the worst, dude. I'm like, it's a personal page. Dude. Actually, that's the funny thing is, I have the right to do whatever I want on my personal page. That's the weird thing. Right. I really shouldn't have to like fight for my own rights to post things on, on social media, but like if you were doing it on Twitter, it'd be different. But like this is your personal Facebook page. Yeah, I'm not representing my brand on the on the on the personal page where I communicate with relatives. You know, like anyway, as besides the point. I appreciate you guys. Also, I'm gonna come out and say it. I feel like you should be able to express your opinions on any way in any form if you want on any platform. That's sh you, that should be your right to do. There's no reason. Like I get why you might not, but I think you should be able to do that. Odysseus, thank you so much for the, for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Oh, really? I thank you for the sub. Really appreciate it, man. 
awesome, dude. Wow, thank you so much for the tier three sub, dude. Really, really appreciate it. And MTG Pyro, thank you for the bits, buddy. Mike B, add me on Facebook. <laughs> All right, hold on. I gotta do this. I gotta, I gotta play this freaking deck, guys. This Cody Saucier Salt deck. Are oh, you digging the text? Okay, cool. God, I'm just trying to play my deck. Till the night closes in. All right, listen. I gotta. I gotta. We gotta do things. All right. Put these in oh, here. The game has started. Oh wow, Michael B is gonna be half paying attention now, guys. I'll try my best. I'm sorry. I don't want. I, I don't want our hanging out to get dude, in the way of a I poker game that dude, you do every night. My bad. I fold like sixty percent of my hands plus. <sighs> 60%. So probably more than that. I play pretty tight, so it should be fine. Are we playing the burning? No, Michael. You don't think so? Don't ask me questions if you're not paying attention, okay? I am paying attention. Did you? By the way, Frank didn't notice what happened. What did I, I snuck in some cards. You took them out, but. What did you sneak put, in? Jack of Pub and Gumma? Yeah, those are the two I put. Yeah, in. I took them. I'm like, why are they? I didn't know how they got in here, <laughs> but I was like, why the hell are these in here? I don't remember. I thought I thought I put them right in the sideboard. One. Two. Frank didn't notice. I took them out of the deck. I, I didn't notice Mike did it. I noticed they were in the deck though. All right, so blue, we have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Season two of Mandalorian trailers out. Ooh, we gotta watch that later. Red, we have four, five, six, seven, eight. Tell you what, play your cards right. You can go home with me. I fold. That's a quote from something, obviously. Is it? <laughs> wow. Okay, see, so these are both colors. Clear Deltas both tropical. Uh, yep. All right. Cool. So add basics. I don't think we want. I don't even think we want a forest here. Um, for blue we have one, two, three. Oh, actually, I can put this over here as well. This is both colors. Okay. Cool. That should be easier. One, two, three. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then for red we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think that's fine. Twelve, ten. And we have 16 lands with one Mox and one Mox Diamond. We also have Jace, Dak, and Arcane Artisan to loot. So I think this is going to be okay. Is the trailer 10 minutes or is it not 10 minutes? Oh, okay. So it's probably like a bunch of things combined. Got the fold. Did you win? I won the hand, yeah. I hit air on the flop. Still got there. You hit air? Yeah, because I re-raised I re -raised fleet flop. God, listen, he's poker. And I continuation bed. And guess what? They folded. <laughs> Amateurs. It's that easy. No, I mean... It Amateurs. Was, it was a scary board, so their folding makes sense. A scary board? Yeah. Well, you don't want to be assimilated, so... Oh, man. You know what I'm saying? Till the mic closes in. Odysseus, 20 gifted subs, my dude? What in the earth? What? Thank you. What is even happening right now? Odysseus, man, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it, dude. Thank you. Does CDN stand for Canadian? Hey, man, I just got a text. What does the little man say? Because <laughs> I wanted to say Odysseus the Canadian. Dude, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Wow, that's wild, dude. Uh-oh, gotta let Eric know. <laughs> Thank you. Hell yes, it does. I got it right. Odysseus the Canadian? God. It's just that. It's Thank just typical Canadian friendliness, apparently. <laughs> typical. Thank you so much, dude. Thank really you. appreciate it. Wow, that's wild, man. Get out of here, dude. That's great. 
Oh man, that's such a man. What an uh, God! It just blows me away, dude. Sorry for being sorry. <laughs> There's nothing to be sorry about. Okay, that's don't be ridiculous. She did there. I said a boot. I got it. Okay. Well, you didn't laugh, so it was a funny joke, and you didn't laugh, so I just figured you didn't get it. I'm doing my best. I'm in a hand. I'm sorry. I just. Folded. Oh my bad. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to I'm interrupt so your game. Look, I'm not. Well, what are you gonna say? Look, man, I gotta do this to make money. <laughs> Wow, you sound like a fucking gambler right there. I need to do it to make money. I mean, like... Oh, wow, did we just... Interesting. I got so many cards Thank I can discard. You. If we were on the same time zone, it would be easier because the game was where it actually started 10 for me. Oh, no. Thank you. But God, all these thank nice. yous from freaking Odysseus, man. Thank you so oh, much, you missed dude. it, but there was a bunch of get this subs earlier, too. What? When, when I was gone? Yeah. For, for Mike you. B. A. M. A. R. From who? I forget who it was. Spiked Mike gave out five community subs. Oh, man. Spiked and Mike. Also, uh, and hey, Tony, resub, yeah. dude. Thank you so much for the resub. Oh, my God, dude. What is... You guys are out of your... What is happening right now? I don't understand the generosity that's been happening the past couple of days, man. You guys are amazing. Holy. It's that Canadian electric lettuce money. Oh, man. Thank you. Well, you know, sometimes when you're a Canadian electric lettuce farmer, you just can't... Uh, you just got to share the wealth, you know? Oh, what if we... Oh, can we just... Can we just... Mike B, can you give out your phone number again? Which, okay, I've said it like four times. It's somewhere in the chat if someone wants to text it. Thank you. This is going on YouTube, don't forget. Well, yeah, I already know that. It's already up. Well, no, the other ones weren't while we were recording, I don't think. They were just near in the in the in-between. Oh, that's true. Maybe that's a bad idea. I don't know. I don't want to get, like, crazy. Ooh. Ace three off. Raise the 1600. That's probably a fold. Mike just gets lonely, so he just wants to wake up to a bunch of text messages from you guys. Okay, so we got a Garuki. You know, I don't care. It's 727. What? 727. What? 2446826. Again, that's 727. Again, that's 244. <laughs> that number again. 6826. <laughs> please do not call me. Please text me. If you want to chat with me and you text me, maybe we'll chat, but like. I'm not going to just be randomly accepting phone calls, but if you want to text me, feel free. That number again. I, I might not always respond because I might be overwhelmed, but if not, there's he, someone he gets, in the chat. He gets a little overwhelmed sometimes. Yeah, don't spam me, though. Yeah, Mike is being super generous by actually like giving his phone number out, so like, don't actually be shitty. I mean, you spam me, I'm just going to block also, your Also, if you be shitty, like they ha he has your number, so like he can sell it on the internet. So, Can I send nudes? Nips for stips. Wow. No, that's pretty good. You know, that is pretty good. <sighs> yep. I feel like I don't have many answers to that in my red-blue deck. I mean, I really don't have to change my phone number, guys, so please don't do that. Here's the story of my gold biscuits. Speaking of January's social security number... Yeah, about that. What's your debit card number, by the way? Uh, four, six... I don't know the rest, sorry. I would have given it out, but I don't remember, so... I would have given it out. Are you guys just putting your phone numbers in the chat? This is going on YouTube, guys. Stop posting your phone numbers. I mean, they can do what they want. It's free country. Yeah, but it feels like it's got to be against some kind of terms of service, right? I don't know. I don't know either. Also, I wasn't tracking when we ordered and when it's going to be here. They'll probably call or text me, though, right? I imagine. Oh, uh, I think we're just... God, I'd hope so. I don't know how to deal with an election I'll be honest with you. 1-800-BUBBER-DAD. Wow. Yeah, it's... I mean, without removal, it's pretty rough. It's not good. It also stops our... The sea breaks are common. Yep, it's not great, Bob. Do we need bounce spells? Dackles, baby, back for ribs. We got a uh, text. Thanks for being 50% of why I watch this stream. You had real value, my dude. Thank you, whoever that was. Yeah, all right. Feel free to send your uh, Twitch name or real name if you want me to know who you are. 
That's up to you. Feel mm-hmm. free to send them anonymously. That's cool too. Um, anonymously? Send it anonymously. Well, I can't attack anymore. Ace King versus King King all in. Oof. It's going to be a rough beat if he hits a spade. No. Yep. Oof. I'll draw two. Arcane Artisan. Well, that dude went all in and now he only has 720 chips, which is three big blinds. Three bigums, McBlindums. Oh, we got some more people, yes. Got some more people. Now we got nine players. We got a full table. Mother, don't let your babies grow up to be big blinds. <laughs> what? What? Huh? What? Chip in a chair. That is the old saying. I will block so I don't so as to not die. I don't know. We have mystical mystic confluence would be good against this. Oh yeah, biscuits. <laughs> Was it biscuits or biscuits? Yeah, exactly. Oh, so we just win here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's all happening. Wait, we just win? Oh. Oh, I see. The salt is flowing! <laughs> I don't know how to deal with a Leshnorn, except for turning it into a friggin' elk and kinky jinkying. Oh, that was wild. That's why I gotta hold on to the night. Hold on to the... I feel like that was a salty win. You know, you get you get Oko to turn their Leshnorn into an elk, mm. and then you kiki-jiki them? How do you... That's like the most salty thing you could do. I really... We don't have many answers to uh, a Leshnorn, though, let's be honest. A 4-7 is pretty big. We really just have to hope to, to Mana Leak or to Mystic Confluence. Katie, I'm just doing it to make you proud. That good sodium chloride. <laughs> oh, man. Woo! Woo! That one was for Odysseus right there. Inkwell too slow? I don't think so. Because, like, we're trying to get it down with, like, Arcane Artisan, right? So. I was typing that we needed to find Oko to deal with Lush. We just had a lot of... We had a lot of ways to draw cards, though. Like, we were drawing two a turn with Consecrated Sphinx, two a turn with, uh... With Dak. So... Yeah, so, like, we have Artisan to discard the Inkwell Leviathan. We also have Jace to discard it. So, like, I'm not really worried about the big the big creatures because we have a lot... We also have Dak, right? So, we have a lot of ways to discard. Michaels, don't let your biscuits grow up to be unleavened. Did you like that? Yeah. Yeah, I know you did. Oh, wow, this is a hand right here, boys. One, two, we have four mana on turn one. We can play Jace and then next turn play friggin' Muldrifter on turn two. Oh, what if we draw Mox right here? Can you imagine? Ugh. 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 All right, so we're going to go Tropical Island, Soul Ring, Mox Diamond, Discard you. Play with Jace. You got four men on turn one and a Jace. I got caught bluffing. <sighs> Can't believe he called me. A little biscuit. There's thank a you. Stop saying board. thanks. I am stuck either apologizing or saying thank you. Yeah, it, this is the this is the feedback loop you get into with the Canadian people. You just have to you have to meet their politeness, and then it just becomes a a feedback loop. And it's just I mean it's it's enjoyable for a little bit, but then once you reach like third fourth hour of it it's just ex i think it's i think it gets a little exhausting for both both parties you know <gasps> so i just lost a hand where i i lost quite a bit of chips on a three barrel bluff however my opponent called with pocket eights on a board that could have a straight a flush and a full house on it so now i know that that player is willing to call off with very marginal hands yeah you can learn so from i that. can get a right. lot of value yeah. out of that guy yeah also mark said next turn cast Muldrifter drifter as a man nice <laughs> 
<laughs> and I was trying to hold back laughter. I don't know if we just keep Mystic Confluence up this early on turn three. I think we do. We have nothing to really gain here, so... Like, just having Mystic Confluence up to, like, counter a five drop and draw two cards is pretty nuts. Yeah, this seems very worth it. Uh, counter Strike Spell Lesson Control Plays 2, draw two cards. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna counter your face, put you in the trash can. Do 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 a lot of hands that can get there. You guys are wild. I mean, it was, I mean, it was correct to call, but it's just. I got my wet board. I mean, it's good information to have, and I didn't lose that many chips. I lost about five k in chips, which isn't that much. So I'm gonna chain lightning this guy. We're gonna keep bonfire for later, and then we're gonna play. Uh, Jace is gonna flip. So I might just discard Mountain and take two for the... Oh, actually, yeah. That's, yeah, I mean, the call discard made him money, here. but in the long run, those kind of calls are generally going to lose you money. Ever play Omaha PLO? No, I haven't ever played PLO. I, every night I go to sleep on a PLO. <laughs> well done, well done. Thank you. I mean, even if next turn we just play... We activate Jace to, like... I've played stud before. If we just activate Jace to, like, Mystic Confluence draw three, I think we're in real good shape. We have a lot going on here, which is pretty sweet. We got there on the river. Rough. Rough beats for that guy. Oh, they're gonna they're gonna turn a witness something. Michaels, don't let your Michaels grow up to be other Michaels. Oh, Hellrider? Oh, that's wild. What a wild man. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight mana. I guess we just Hellrider here. And just like... Oh, we just Hellrider next time we bonfire for, for three? Or four? That's pretty... Don't turn around. Uh-oh. The Hellrider's in town. Uh-oh. Oh yeah, I think this game is actually it's close to over. Like they're probably gonna play Garrick, make a beast, and then we get to go. Uh this is gonna be nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we go four to Garrick, four to Eternal Witness and the Beast. And then we attack them for another seven. Oh, the food's here, my dude. That was the door. Yeah. Oh, Orth under my Hellkite works too, I guess. I'll go get it, I guess. I, he's like, I guess I'll get it. Well, you know, ain't going on. Oh! You want me to go get it? No, I got it. No, you want me to go get it, man? It's probably better, yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> no, I got it. He's gonna be too proud. Alright, what's going on? I had to step away for a second. Step away, step away, step away now! Like, we could just Thunder My Hellkite attack. Wait, have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, they're going to block with this, I guess. So, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then we bonfire for three. <clears throat> this is seven. We only have nine mana. When am I moving to Colorado? Um, in Mid to late June. One concern is if they have, like, One concern is if they do have, like, Spell Pierce, but I don't think they do, man. The dude was actually at the door. He didn't, like, drop it off. And so I opened the door, and I was like, oh, God, I didn't expect you there. <laughs> he was like, that's yeah, okay. And then we both, like, we both had a good laugh at it because I was, like, actually startled. Yeah, this puts them dead on board. Dobbs, as, as, uh, as Gabarino would say.
So this is four. One, two, three. Do we still kill them? Yeah, this is yeah, this is just a lethal, right? One, two, three, four, five. Cause I got three three flyer. God, Alessian was a real piece of junk, man. You're right. Like they can block Hellrider, and then we just actually chain lightning them with Jay Serino. B -b 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 Bonfire. Kapow. Conceded from the game. Our deck is sweet. We're making them salties. Oh, Super Fritz, what's going on? We actually did your stipulation earlier. Are you off work, dude? I imagine you are, because it's like 10.30 in Ohio. Super Fritz, easy. Run away with me to another place. Michael B lives in the trash can. Oh, that's not a good. That's not a keeper. Actually, this is bad with Arcane Artisan. I'll keep this. Um, Let's discard Blood Braid because you already have a Forger. Actually. Okay, we'll get rid of, get rid of Thunder Maw. Thunder, Thunder, Thunder Maw. Thunder Ma is on the moon. Thunder Ma is loose. Thunder, thunder, thunder. My mom. Wow, dude. <laughs> I don't think you meant it like that, but it came out like that. You're like, yeah, dude. No, I meant that. God damn, dude. You have no chill. No, that. Michael's Michael's phone. Here, just gonna plug it in here. Yeah, I'm, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. Here's the back end. Michael loves the back end. <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> I'll put it in the quick charger for you. Oh, man. How generous of you. Yeah. Me. You get the special friend area. Man. I'll put you in the special slot. All right. We need to land next turn. You want Mike's phone number? <laughs> Dude, it's in the chat. Scroll up. I don't want to give it out that many times. It's Super Fritz mind. can't. Super Fritz can't scroll up, man. He just got here. Oh, wow. Bonfire. 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 Oh, f oh, God. Can you imagine how good Bonfire would have been for one, dude? Yeah, now I think we're dead, though. <laughs> they go land. They get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana, and we don't have a third land. Yeah, that would have been amazing. Dude, people are just nonstop just spamming your number in the chat, man. <laughs> there you go. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just annoyed at giving it out every three minutes. That's understandable. Welcome to my life where I have to answer the same question over and over. I get the real streamer experience. I want to get texted too. Let me get my number out. Oof. Yep, that's, uh, I'm going to go to the next game. I don't think we can beat this. Yep. No, it didn't even get hit third land. All right. Um, I kind of like Mizzy and Mortars here. Mizzy busy. Probably take out Inkwell. No, we'll probably take out Emrakul. I think Emrakul is worse than Inkwell here. Like if we're discarding something to, uh... Actually, maybe not. Oh, too late. Shut up and take my money. What's happening right now? The Dean of Clean. Stip for the Q. Franklin Stip must draft cards that begin with the letters Frank L and I... Oh, oh Ooh, dang I got it. there on the road. That's rough. Hold on. I'll get it back. You got there on the river? We're keeping this hand for sure. No, I didn't. I wasn't playing the hand. Uh, F R A N K L and I. Oh, because because Franklin. Oh, I like that. The can be overlooked in a in a card name. Oh, so if it says like the, you know the the mana leak or something. The mana leak. Oh, this is power and lands can be picked. Okay, cool, cool, cool. This is actually. I feel like this is a little restrictive, but it might be enough. God, it's really restrictive, actually. Good gravy, dude. I wonder if there's enough cards in Magic. Oh wow, this is rough. All right, Dean, we're gonna write. We're gonna we're gonna pop it in here. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's play. 
Tromperino. Oh man. F R A N K L K L and I. That's that's not a lot. I'm like Jace the Mind Sculptor, no. Can we take secondary power too? Like we took Jace the Mind Sculptor or like Soul Ring, because those are definitely considered power. And I think that would give us the uh I think that would give us the flexibility we might need there. Or or can I get a few vetoes? Like vetoes would be nice there because like sometimes that's rough. Oko is power. I mean kind of. Oh wow. Something happened in poker. No. Did two people just say Oko is power like independent of one another? This is a text message I got. Mike, this is your dad. Sorry I haven't been there in your life. You've grown into a fine young man who seems to have his life together. You have a loving friend uh, surrounding you. You have a heart of gold, or at least Frank thinks so. I'm proud of you, my wow. son. Wow. These texts have been amazing. Dude, it's amazing. I didn't know your dad was a stream watcher. Now he's, like, messaging you. Three vetoes. Okay. Cool, cool, it's cool. It's weird, because I had his old number. It changed. That's interesting. Well, Michael, you know what they say, man. Wait, what happened? Just kidding. All those things are true, but this is Nathan Brewster, a.k.a. Nothing Man 22780 on the chat. <laughs> Thanks for the text. Appreciate it. Wow, that wasn't Mike's dad? That's kind of messed up. Oh, man, I'm getting card dead. Give me some cards, man. Oh, man, I'm so sorry about your card death. I, where, I just uh, got plowed under. Most of them have been free. Because so. I couldn't hit a third land, as always. Sounds about right. I mean, this is two games in a row I haven't hit a third land, so I'm not really, like... It's hard to, like, feel bad. It's hard to, like, to take these losses personally. Yeah, okay, so they're just going to keep killing my lands. Cool win. You, both sides played hard, so... It was fair and even balanced. Yep, game. <laughs> cool games. First game, they go Noble Hierarch into Lotus Cobra into Rafelos on turn two into third turn Primeval Titan. Next game, they go turn three Plow Under, so... This guy's bet sizing are whack. What? These guys' bet sizing. Thanks really for weird. giving my name out. Oh, hey, man, bad. listen. Mike gave his phone number out. That's just the sacrifice you got to make. I said it kind of quick and stuttered probably. So probably I stuttered quick. probably. You know, I probably gave it a little stutter. But, yeah, these guys have been, like, for most part, pre file brazing have been, like, three or four big blinds. But then all of a sudden now, they're doing, like, 5x. It's really weird. They just, like, randomly decide to raise more. Just bet weird random amounts. You know what? I'm going to keep this wild hand. I think it's pretty decent outside the inkwell. Let's go. Buttery biscuits. One of my opponent's name is Blackfeet. I'm trying to tell if that's racist or not. I don't think so. He said it was an old college nickname. Someone's falling down the stairs. Sure sounds like it. That's I hear that I hear that noise like that nonstop. Fang says my all the time when he reads my dumb jokes. Got no problem. Yeah, I, I don't say your last name though. Yeah, I probably should have stuck to the first name. Yeah, but when you're reading, it's hard to like predict that, like because you're kind of like, Ugh. I'm gonna mana like this because I feel like they could do some reanimator nonsense. Plus, there's definitely a part of me that just wants to get mana leak out of my hand. I think I, for oh, I was like, I think I forced this. What's happening right now? They are, dude. They are wilding out. It's a Saturday night. So three, four, five. Let's draw Muldrif for next turn. Saturday night's all right for Mike B. Get a little. Mi yeah, this is a lot of discard outlets. I assume they're going to try to reanimate some nonsense. We did not draw Muldrifter. Quite, quite, quite opposite. We drew a a land. There's so many all reads. Don't, don't be racist, Michael. No, I'm just referencing something. What are you referencing? Some. You don't even know who it was. I, it's Kim Jong Un from some movie. I think it's Kim Jong Un. Kim, Kim Jong Un. Jong -un? 
the fuck? Like the North Korean dictator said that in a movie? Do you think Kim Jong-un is an actor? No, not the real person, but it was like a character of him. Not the real person. I don't think so, man. Just Google it, man. How do I spell Aureen? A-L-L-I-R-N-N-N-N-N-N-N. No. No, Michael. We got three buys, three buys so far, and we got ten players. Wait, is the Dean of Clean Kevin? Because that's hilarious. All right, all right. So Eric Jardine and the Dean of Clean is Kevin Jardine. They're brothers. I assume they're brothers. Because you did mention giving your brother a gifted sub earlier. So that's actually hilarious. Huh. Wow, that's all, that's funny because like, there's so many brotherly pairs in chat. Sweet buttery biscuits. It's Mike B. Greetings from Soul Cow. This is Smoky Loki. Th Thwok nice. and and Gamma Set are also are also brothers. Oh, are you serious? <sighs> cool. I mean, they're, yeah, I mean, like, we could assume they're holding up counter with double blue, but, like, I mean, what can you do? I mean, we can't just not play it. Like, we have nothing else. We have nothing else to do. <laughs> Chris, what else am I going to do? What's my alternative? You know, like, just hold this forever? We have no pressure, so they have no incentive to, to not just keep looting with Jace, plusing Jace and keeping up two mana, so, like... It's just a shitty situation. I mean, swing with falls is fine, but like, it's just unexciting. Yep, that's gonna be the end of that. All right, cool. So of course they are reanimating. Hmm. I'm bringing Expansion Explosion because it's kind of like another counter spell. Yeah, in a way. Some type of way. I mean, also, we, if we attack with Lumbering Falls, like, they have infinite turns. Like, we can't just do that for five turns. Like, eventually they're going to counter the first thing we play. And, like, we don't have anything in hand other than Consecrated Sphinx to play, so... Mizzy Mortars could be all right. Now I'll turn my volume down. No, it's fine. I don't yeah, think it was it... on almost mute anyway. Yeah, I don't think it was very loud. Plus, like, it's probably significantly easier for you to know what's going on when you can hear the noises. So yeah, it just knows. It knows. It lets me know when someone checks or when an action. Yeah, just leave it. On, leave it on what it was. I was just making it because it sounded like a funny noise. It sounded like a funny noise. It just sounded like a funny noise, huh? Hey, you like it a funny noise, huh? Hey, you like it a funny noise, huh? I want to turn one Jace here. I want a pot, yay. You want some pot? <laughs> Man, that's funny because Odysseus is an electric lettuce farmer, so... Maybe you want it for, I don't I don't I don't know. We made a joke about it earlier. I should have called. I shouldn't have re raised. I'm terrible. Jesus man, you won the pot. Just go easy on yourself. Crying out loud. Well, the reason why I raised him is because there was two hearts on the board. So I had two pair, so I didn't want him to like draw I wanted to punish him for drawing, right? If he has I want to punish you. <laughs> if he has four to uh, flush, right? So I wanted to make it more, but I probably raised too much. I probably should have just and then raised him. I think I could have got more money out of him, that's all. 1500 Oof. That's a lot. No thanks. Wait, why do we have a forest in our deck? I thought we didn't put a forest in our deck. Interesting. Michael, do you accept Apple Pay? 
I mean, I'm sure he can. Oh, Smokey Lucky with 10 gifted subs. I don't have Apple Pay, but if wow. you want to help me out, uh, I do have a PayPal. I can post it to the chat. Thank you. God, Michael just posts all his PayPals. I want to be Michael's PayPal. Smokey Loki, man. Thank you so much, dude. Wow, you guys are wild, dude. What is even happening tonight? I need to figure out a way to keep up with these stipulations. Thank you. Play this. I think we can probably discard Chain Lightning if we really need to. Thank you. Did they just did they just turn one discard Grave Titan? Mm, Thank fine. you. Now we're gonna Chain Lightning that little biscuit. Smokey Loki, dude. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. What a time to be alive. I think we gotta get rid of Keekums McJeekums here, unfortunately. Thank you. So I just posted my PayPal link. If you want to help me out, I'd appreciate it, but don't feel obligated. It's totally fine. So. Thank you. Thank you. I timed out on hand. Oh, I timed out with pocket sixes. Okay, I didn't hit the flop. We're good. It was a good fold then. I just work here. Smokey Loki, man. You are awesome, dude. Thank you so much, man. Hey, Smokey Lucky, you in the electric lettuce business, too. <laughs> also, just to be clear, oh, O'Maclo in the chat is me, is Mike B. So. O'Maclo is Mike B. Can you even have Apple Pay if you have, don't have an Apple phone? Yeah. It's, no. just, it's just an account you have. I guess so. Um. Oh, I guess we can flip this and... Uh, I don't really want to discard anything in my hand, though, so I'll hold off. If they go to reanimate and we go explosion expansion, can we just we just get the Grave Titan first, right? Because that's pretty wild if that's how that works. I mean, I love it when the, the game breaks up to two tables, so I'm only playing five-handed. I think I'm better when there's less players. I think there's better when I think I'm better when there's less players. Hand strength is generally weaker, so Venmo might be. I do not have Venmo. Just get Venmo. Why don't you have these apps? It's 2020, I'm kind man. I'm in the middle of a poker game. I can't really get it right now. Oh, well, if you can't get it right now, then I guess you'll, you should never get it ever. Michael, what's your OnlyFans page? I'll tell you what. <laughs> How about you just donate to Frank, and we'll figure something out. I don't want that responsibility, man. I'll forget. I'll remind you. Oh, dang. Put this around here. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, we're just gonna hope that there's an an inkwell of I actually getting rid of. Or you could text me your number and we can try to work something. Out. I don't know. It's just hard. I'm in the middle of a poker game, so I can't really download Venmo right now because I'm playing poker on my phone. But I appreciate it. Don't even feel bad. Don't worry about it if it's too much of a hassle. Michael B is too much of a hassle. Wow. Can't believe you've done this. I cannot believe you've done this. It's getting late and I want Frank will take it out of your debt. Yeah, that's totally fine. Oh, good gracious. Yes, I'm playing poker right now on my phone. No, he just I'm just paying back for a Disney trip. <laughs> life debt? Much. Yeah. It's my life debt. Well, all debts are a life debt, right? You know? Maybe. They're gonna play a thirst for knowledge a Vendillion clickums. Oh, I don't like that. I wish I had pocket rockets. That'd be sick. I haven't hit aces yet tonight. That'd be great. Hard to get pocket aces though. Doesn't happen quite often. Oh boy, Katie, I don't even know what oh boy means. Oh boy. How often do you get aces, Michael? Tell me about your aces. I already did, not a lot. Tell me more. What more do you want to know? All of it. I made it through two sushi rolls, three gyoza, four sips of soup, and had to call it quits. Yeah, it's not a 
Not a bad amount of food. Four sips of soup. Is it one out of 200? <laughs> I don't know the odds of getting pocket aces. I don't know the math offhand. Katie, did you use your little salad or is that, did you save that? Back down to the final nine. Back down to the final nine. It's still time for rebuys, though. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, I'm good with eight here. We got. I just want to get pocket aces, and I want two opponents to go all in, and I get to snap the call. Michael, it's called Aureen. Aureen, sorry. Typical. Although I never like going all in pre flop. In the it's always scary, even with aces. Even when it's correct. So we want expansion. We want to copy this because then it will return. So we will get a copy. Copy and instant sorcery. We will get a copy of this to reanimate Grave Titan. Right? Expansion, right? Yeah, we're copying this. Uh, same target's fine. Rebuy tournament, that's why people are being dumb. Yeah, we do unlimited rebuys for the first hour. Oh my god, that doesn't work at all. Alright, well, it's in their graveyard, so I don't get... Oh god, that's annoying. Yep, that's pretty bad. Wow, that sucks. Wow. Yeah, I was thinking, like... Fuck. Because if it's, like, reanimate, it doesn't do any... Oh, God, all we gotta do is counter it. And now we're also in attack, so he gets to attack. Oh, man, I'm just misplaying left and right here, guys. I'm sorry. That was unfortunate. Wow, that was so bad. That's like two major misplays in a row. Oh, we don't even get to draw the cards actually because this gets countered. So let's call it, let's call it, let's call it three. Let's call it three major misplays in a row. I, I I think we just I mean we just threw this game away completely. Like that's my fault. But to be fair, like yeah. this is a really complicated. It's not complicated, but it's kind of confusing because there's a lot of. Because it was the same target, like it targeted the grave, it was able to target the grave titan, so it seems like it's almost natural that it would like come back because targeting it is the problem. So once it's targeted it. God it sucks. Like I don't even get to draw the cards because the spell gets countered because there's no more legal targets, so. Um You're returning my chased and you're countering this? That's actually great value. <laughs> wow. That's actually pretty sweet. Because this was going to get countered anyway because the legal target was gone, so it wouldn't actually draw me cards. That's actually pretty ridiculous. Bonfire? Just land. Okay. <sighs> it's so bad. All we had to do was miss the confluence that. They wouldn't have this. We'd have two extra cards. And then we'd still have expansion explosion in hand. It's so brutal. It's really hard to shake it off because you you know internally like the game is over, right? Like you're taking we're taking eight here. Like the game is over. Yeah, well like we wait for them to tap out, then we explode for one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. Draw six. Deal six, like Yeah, this is, I mean the game would be totally different. And they're just gonna kill our Jace so that we don't get to flash back something like Mystic Confluence or Expansion Explosion here. Mind twist for one. Okay. That was not what I was expecting. P and Karen Alar is interesting. Let's get rid of Dak Faden. You cast an instant or sorcery card from your graveyard. 
We can Mystic Confluence bounce three of these guys. I think we're just going to plus and Pia and Kieran Nalar. And they're just going to have Mana Drain, so it doesn't matter. Yep, never don't have that. Wow. Mana Drain. Wow. Mana, mana Drain, Cryptic Command, uh, Mind Twist. Sure. Dude, I just bet pre-flop, flop, turn, and... And a dude stayed in with, like, A dude called with a two, pair of threes, which is literally the lowest card on the board. Like, not pocket pair. Like, he had one three. It was, like, eight. It was three jack or whatever. Oh, he's pairing with the board? Yes, that's it. Yikes. Thanks for the pot? Did you have anything? No, I didn't have anything, but it's like, why would you call... Oh, so you're trying to kick somebody out, but, like, you can't because... Because they call with a three. The reanimated kiki-jiki? Do you not worry they might be watching the stream, Mike? <laughs> sure. I guess we're just dead on board. Yeah, I guess Randomly and Kiki Jiki to kill us is fine. Corey, sorry, so sorry about the stip, man. I mean, that, that last round was pretty rough. I, I, I admit I made a bunch of misplays in that one game just because it was tilting and then I, got, I kept getting tilting, tilted. But I, mean, I think it's one of the complications of Vintage Cube is that there's a lot of things going on. And there's a lot of interactions that normally don't happen. Like, you're never going to have Expansion Explosion versus Makeshift Mannequin. Um, you can come play Animal Crossing if you want. I would actually love to. Um, but thank you guys for watching. Corey, thank you so much for the stipulation. Really appreciate it. Even though we did not, uh, we did not crush as if we wanted to, but trying to be, uh, trying to be, trying to be, uh, positive. And I really appreciate the support. Thank you guys so much for all the support. Really appreciate it. Uh, if you're watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving. If you're watching on YouTube, definitely check me out at twitch.tv slash franklapore, patreon.com slash franklapore, which is a great place to support the channel if you don't want to subscribe on Twitch or if you don't have a Twitch account. You can go to Patreon for one or two, three dollars a month and support the channel. That's per month, not per stream or anything. So uh, you can also go to coolstuffinc.com every Wednesday. We use promo code frank5 and you can also go to manatraders.com with the link and promo code down below. You'll get 20% off the first three months of any subscription. So be sure to check that service out and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it.